everybody how are you hope you're doing well hope you're having a blessed day so this word um it comes from a dream that i had on may of last year and um holy spirit brought up this dream yesterday and um wanted me to release so um i went to my journals and it's like in one of the journals that i cannot Find, but I remember the dream I just don't have the date but it was sometime in May like mid to the end of uh, May of last year 2023 and um, in this dream and this is one that I never thought was going to be for release um, but yesterday he brought it up and was like release and I was like okay and it's one of those words that is, is going to be a little bit of a um, hard to swallow, you know. It, it's one of those like, oh, where you really have to search your heart, where you really have to look. Um, yeah, because it's one of those of like, um, kind of like judgment, sort of, right? Um, and so in this dream, it was, um, I was in a house. And there was something, I heard a voice coming from like somewhere, but I didn't see anybody. I didn't see anybody there. And so um, I hear this voice and they're like in anguish or like pain. And I'm like, where, where's this person? Where like, as I couldn't see anybody. But then I get to like this table kind thing or like a, a counter and um, it was like this like like a blob like just like a, a blob like that's the only way I can describe it a blob right and I recognized the voice it's somebody that I knew that I know right and so I knew the voice and I was like whoa what happened to this person right because it was just a blob right and they were in so much pain. Um, and it was like this blob, um, and it was like, um, like, like scalp kind of skin, um, but the, the hair was like stubbed, like shaped. You know, like, like guys, right, when they like shave or, or they have super short hair, and you can feel like the spikiness, like the, you know, that would look like that where it was like scalp, but it was like super short. Um, and it was just like a blob. And um, like I said, this person was like in pain and in anguish, something, right? And then I heard God in the dream. I didn't see him, but I heard him and I knew it was him. And he said, put this person back on the the stand. There, there was like a little thing like that. And I guess this person belonged on this thing, but had fallen over. And that's why they were in so much pain or anguish or something, right? So I was like, okay. So I get this, the person, which was a blob, okay. And I put it back on the thing. And when I put it back on the thing, like... The person was like, oh, like relieved, right? And so then after that, I went outside uh, to the front yard and a friend was there sitting down on like a lawn chair, right? And um, her name is Zoe, right? And her name means uh, life, but not just life. It's like the abundant life um, that um, God died for us to have right in him life in Christ life in Jesus right life with Jesus so um yeah that was that was the dream like we hugged me and and my friend like we hugged and um we were just hanging out like in the front and that was the dream right and so I woke up <laughs> from this dream and I was like god what was that like that person because I'm telling you I know this person I, I I just recognize them with their voice by their voice 
And so I was like, is that even like, I don't know. I was like, for sure, God, you have to give me scripture. You have to give me scripture, right? And he gave me scripture very quickly. Um, and so what basically what God is saying with this dream and because he wants me to release it and this doesn't just apply to myself anymore. Um, it's like the people in your life who have completely wronged you and i'm not talking about small offenses or they hurt your feelings like i'm talking about like betrayal like i'm talking about like judas i'm talking about like that kind of stuff right not not like little like no i'm talking about like evil things right things not of god uh, people make mistakes, yes, and you give second chances and, and you pray and you forgive and God uses these people to mold you, right, and, and, and all that um, and to practice, uh, to grow in Christ-likeness, right? But then there's people who are like, right, and you forgive, but then you have to set up boundaries with these people, okay? Guard your heart. Like, there's absolutely no trust, right? Um, but um, these people, because this was a person who, like, you know, um, they don't even have bodies anymore. And they're like blobs. Okay, and yes, God did give me scripture for this. I was so surprised. And so it's this scripture about the body being a temple of the Holy Spirit. Um, and so what happened is that these, these people um, did not steward well their bodies. Um, and they gave themselves over to the desires of the flesh, right? So... The body being a temple of the Holy Spirit, they defile their bodies. So now it's like they ruined that temple, right? They ruined it. And so what happens is like, God is like, I give you something and you have to steward it well. If not, like he takes it away, right? And so what God has revealed is that like the, the punishment, the judgment that's going to come upon these people is that their bodies are just going to fail them. Their health is going to decline. Like their, their bodies are just not even going to function the way they were created to function. Um, because they just gave themselves over to evil. They gave themselves over. So it's like you give your, your soul, you give your mind, your thoughts, you give your mind over to these things, including your body. Um, and, and with this specifically, I need to say, because it says in the Bible, it's uh, sexual immorality. Okay. Uh, because any other sin can take place takes place outside of the body but sexual immorality um, uh, it, it defiles the temple right and so um, that's why this this person was like a blob and 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 me even obeying God God is gonna give you instruction on how to handle these people and even show mercy because they were in so much like pain you, you could hear it in the, in the voice um, but God told me like place them back on the thing it, it was like this thing I, I can't I can't I don't know what it was. It was this thing, but God was like, put them on there. So I grabbed the blob, right? The person, and I put them on there. And then they felt like, 
So your obedience to God, and it is going to be God telling you, and I think this is why he wanted me to release, release this. Uh, God is going to give you instruction and it's going to show mercy to these people. Like these people are going to now live because their bodies are going to fail them. They are not going to be at the mercy of others. They're going to be at the mercy of others. And I had this dream last year in May. And I remember, I remember, I know it was May of 2023 because it was the week of my daughter's trial. That's how I know. It was that week. Um, yeah, I saw a lot of hearts. God showed me people's hearts that week, right? Um, because you, you have people in prayer and you're like, God, have they repented? Have they changed? and then with that dream and god gave me that scripture right away and yeah um yeah so i know for sure it was may of 2023 um so yeah um that that's what god is, is doing and, and like it's gonna be a suffering wow lord just how you endured suffering because of them because of their decisions and their choices just because uh, uh, the way just the way you suffered right now they're going to suffer too but it was their own doing they're reaping what they sowed. they gave themselves over and so now this is the consequences right um, and yes we can say like judgment or we can say punishment or we can say whatever but really really at the core it's them reaping what they sowed okay you reap what you sow um, yeah and, and, and to I don't know another thing that, that God has really placed on my heart is don't feel bad God does not want you to feel bad when you see this uh, play out, when you see this happening because he is a just God. Like, yeah. And he's probably even going to bring a lot more to light so that you won't feel bad. So that you trust God in this, okay? So that you trust that God is just um and no more interceding for these people no more uh don't be li like abraham i know this is personal um but i would pray a lot for my enemies and i would intercede for my enemies and every time i read something awful about uh judgment or god's wrath or anything like that in the bible I would automatically think of these people and I would pray like, God have mercy, like Lord have mercy, right? But these people wouldn't let up. They kept doing and doing and doing. And um, I would cry out to God, right? I'm like, God, why won't they stop? Like, God, like, please do something. And God is like, it's your prayers. It's like, I'm praying for them, right? For God to have mercy on them. But then I cry out because God is giving them mercy. And in God giving them mercy, they're abusing that and continuing uh, to walk like the way they're walking. And so then I then cry out to God and like, God, make them stop. Like, please do something like intervene, right? Um, and God's like, you're praying for mercy. And so then I'm just like. <sighs> so after that, once God revealed that, it's like, God, I pray for your will. Your will be done. And God is a God of justice, okay? Um, and so God doesn't want you to feel bad. You already suffered. You already endured. Okay. Um, and, and it's just them reaping what they sowed. Okay. It, it, it's, 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 it's a cycle. Right. Um, and God was merciful. And a big part of that was because you prayed for your enemies. And in doing that, you healed your heart. In doing that, 
um, you um, um, yeah, you go, you you were guarding your heart, you know, and and God is pleased with that. God is so pleased with that. So it's not like you did anything wrong, um, but like the Bible says, there's a time for everything. Okay, and um, people who continually choose um, to do wrong and continually choose to defy God, um, it all catches up to them because that's what they've sown. They've sown this and, and over and over. And so it, the harvest, you know, and a lot of times when we hear harvest, we think like, oh, God's blessings. Um, and it, and it, it's true if what you have sown is for the kingdom, right? You, you sow for the kingdom, you, you, you serve God, then you reap from there, you know? But when you're serving other things, um, darkness, uh, deceit, lies, betrayal, um, sexual immorality, all these things, you, you abuse God's children, it all comes back to you. And, and this specifically, God showed me that their bodies will fail them. Their bodies will fail them. And so that's it for this word. Um, I'll put all scripture in the description box. I didn't have my Bible with me or else I would have read it. Um, but then I think I probably wouldn't have recorded if I really wanted to be like ready, ready. Um, but I was like, I'll just do it like that. I always, 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 always have scripture attached to every word. So check the description box, okay? This word is no different. So, um, yeah, be sure to check the description box, okay? If you're led to so, you may do so. God bless you. Bye.